Hi everyone, it's Dr. Mark Schillinger, founder of Challenging Teenage Sons and the nonprofit Young Men's Ultimate Weekend. Combine these two organizations show parents how to have more caring and cooperative relationships with their son so that they can better prepare him for the challenges of the young adult world. At the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend, the young men are consistently challenged to achieve mental and emotional and physical goals so that they learn what it's required, again, to make it in the outside world. So after doing this work for 22 years, I've been in front of thousands of young men, probably just like your son. So we are experts, meaning we, my, me and my mentors at the Young Men's Ultimate Weekend, we're experts at challenging young men to realize that they have what it takes, but they have to make the effort. So when I use the word challenging, it doesn't mean yelling, screaming, nudging, nagging, it doesn't mean any of those things because that's just going to infuriate him even more. It's going to cause him to do what I like to call the great withdrawal. He's just going to retreat even more. Any human being would. Knowing how to challenge a young man means that you want to activate or arouse his natural, instinctual, biological wisdom that tells him at the age of 15, 16, and 17-ish, it's time to get out of the house. It's time to go get out there and make it in the world. That's what I mean when I say challenging. We want to activate his natural instinct to get out there. So here's a hint that will help you activate his wisdom. Don't, see this? Shaking my head no. Don't engage egos. Don't compete with him. Don't yell at him. Don't infuriate him because it's only going to make him feel like he doesn't want to communicate with you more. And here's why, and this is a good secret for you to know. Most of the young men coach that I coach, they kind of make believe or they put on the facade that they've already got it. They know what, they know what it's going to take to get out there in the world. And I know and you know that they don't know. And here's the thing. Most of them don't really believe they know what it's going to take to make it. But they'll make believe they will. So even your own son, most of the time, does not think he has the skills. So when you scream and yell, and prod and punish, you're not going to learn that way. What human being would? So here is the key to challenging. Ask them intelligent questions. Say that again. Ask them intelligent questions based on specific virtues and values that they need to learn. So for example, Responsibility. That's a really common virtue that parents tell me their son needs to learn. And so then I have them define responsibility. Very often we come up with a definition like this. Doing things you like to do and don't like to do until completion. So if your son is not being responsible for doing his chores or his homework, I recommend you just ask him a question. Something like, son, I notice that you're not turning in your assignments on time. How can you become more responsible? How can you do things that you don't like to do just as much as the things you do like to do until they're done? How can you develop that skill? What do you think it'll take? See, what I'm encouraging you to do as parents is to ask them these questions because they know they need to know this. What they won't tell you is that they may not know how to become more responsible. Yes, some of it is willpower. Yes, some of it is, some of it is that they're addicted to their devices and they won't admit it. So you have to now become the mentor, not the parent. You actually have to mentor them and show them. You may have to teach them how to use a day timer or how to use your cell phone and use a calendar on the cell phone. So you might ask them that question. Here's a good story about how I use uh, virtues and questions. The other day I was here coaching a young man and he was not uh, home on time for his curfew. I asked him what he was doing and he said that he was hanging out with his friend because his mom was late picking him up and he wanted to wait till the mom came and then he would come home. So I said, what is it about that experience that prevented you from becoming responsible, doing things you like to do and don't like to do until completion? You still could have called your mom or your dad to tell them. So I'm curious, what kept you from doing that? And then he kind of rolled his eyes. He didn't really have an answer. 
So I just basically said to him, I said, I get that you were being loyal. That's great. And you were also being irresponsible. So the next time this comes up, how could you practice being more responsible? Because it's going to be a skill you're going to have to have to make it in the outside world. Here's one last example of asking a question versus making a demand. Like, you better, you need to, you ought to, which doesn't really work. Let's say your son, many of you have this issue at home, that your son actually needs you to wake him up. Your son needs you to wake him up. He's 15 and he still needs you. So I'm going to encourage you not to do that. So you might say, son, I'm curious. I don't want to be waking you up anymore because in just a couple of years, you're going to be out of the house on your own at college or a job. How will you be able to wake yourself up? Because I won't be around to do it. And in fact, starting next Monday, I'm not going to be doing it anymore. Can you please let me know how I can support you in waking up on your own? That's a good question. Now he might go, I don't know. Well, then teach him. Be a mentor. Doesn't mean he's going to do it. But you can be the mentor and you can teach him how. And I would probably invoke the uh, virtue of discipline, which to me means doing the same thing at the same time every day. So I might say, son, I'm going to encourage you to develop the virtue of discipline, which means knowing how to do the things that you need to do at the same time every day. So every day at 6.40 a.m., you need to set an alarm. You can do it on your phone. You can go buy an alarm. You'll need to have a way to wake yourself up. Thank you for listening. See, all this came out of a conversation that began with a question, not a demand or a command. Ask questions. Listen to their responses, regardless of what they say. Be the mentor and teach them how to do what you know and they know they need to do. Here's a very important detail before I say goodbye. You need to be calm. I know I started this call with the, by saying that, you need to be calm. So as a doctor specializing in stress management, I always teach the parents and the young men how to get calm 15 seconds or less using simple mindfulness-based techniques so that when you're calm and you're soulfully asking your son questions that challenge or arouse his wisdom on how to make it in the outside world, you're going to have a way better chance of earning his respect and his trust so that eventually he will respond in a more mature way. I want to let you know that one of the great services that I provide for parents is a free 20 to 30 minute phone call. Free. Here's why I do that. I've been coaching parents literally all around the world for many decades. In a 20 to 30 minute phone call, after you fill out an application and I get a chance to read it, which will have a lot of questions about what's happening with you and your son and your spouse for that matter, during that call, I will not only give you some good answers on how to resolve those issues, but I'll be determining if I am going to be a good mentor for you and your family, because that's what I do. I'm a family mentor. I mentor parents, and I mentor their sons, and then eventually I mentor them all together. So I will give you advice, but I'll also let you know at the end of that call if I think that I can help you. If you think that I might be a good mentor for your family after that call, and I think my skill set matches the needs of your family, then I will lay out for you a very specific step-by-step -step plan using a method that I created to help parents and their sons have more caring and cooperative relationships. If you want to meet with me, then please contact me at info at challengingteenagesons.com. I'll say that again. Info at challengingteenagesons.com. You can also call us at 415. 785-8818. I really look forward to seeing how I may be of service to your family. Thank you.